All right, then we are back here with episode 16 of our franchise mode, Calgary Flames 2017-18, or I guess I should now say 2018-19, as we are currently uh, well deep into the 18-19 season with the Calgary Flames. Second full year uh, with our franchise mode with the Calgary Flames. There you can take a look uh, that we are uh, 37 points up, or 37 points, sorry, in the Pacific Division. Uh, they're up number one. Uh, we did end episode 15 by taking a look uh, briefly at the uh, standings and realizing that we are first in our division, first in our conference by one point, and first in the league by just uh, a one point. A lot of teams um, just behind us. And uh, the reason for that being uh, a very poor, uh, inconsistent month of November. I wouldn't say it was poor, uh, but it was just very inconsistent. Uh, we started off with a loss, a couple wins there. A loss, a couple wins, a lot, a three-game losing streak here. Uh, this is really uh, the the uh, pl pinnacle of the month. Was this a three-game road trip uh, or four-game road trip in which we went uh, one, three, and oh, uh, very poor performance there. Uh, then again, couple wins, couple losses, including that really weird seven-four loss to the uh, division uh, rival Vegas Golden Knights, and then we ended off in a win. So uh, just a very inconsistent month of November. After we went nine, two, and two in the month of October. Uh, we were kind of all over the map there in the month of uh, November, uh, but we still uh, uh, poise a 17-8-3 and three record. Uh, good enough, like I said, for first in our division, uh, first in the league and conference, uh, but most importantly in our division in which uh, we we uh, we hope to finish first this year in our division and claim our first divisional title in, in quite uh, quite some time. Well, we've never finished the top of the Pacific Division uh, since uh, the uh, new alignment, uh, What? how many years ago? Uh, but we hope that this could be the year. So, uh, high expectations for the Calgary Flames, like obviously this season, uh, and uh, we are uh, uh, living up to it uh, so far, but it was an inconsistent month of November, good month of October, but we'll see uh, what we do uh, here in December. So, uh, we start off the month by getting Travis Hamnick back. That is huge. Uh, our defense was a little shaky there, especially at the end of November. Uh, and that, of course, uh, means Brett Kulak can come out of the lineup. I uh, will put Travis Hamnick back in there. Uh, Hamnick's a very good defensive defenseman for us. Uh, don't forget, uh, he plays a huge role on our penalty kill uh, and, and our four and fours. Uh, he's a good shutdown defenseman for us, so it's always good to welcome back Travis Hamnick. Even though he's only an 83, uh, he does play a big role for us uh, in uh, the defensive department. So uh, it's good when we can get uh, that guy back. Uh, so December 1st, all our RFAs uh, that were tendered had to have been qualified. We did that a long time ago. Uh, so we begin the uh, month of uh, uh, December off with a date against the New York Islanders, a team that we beat, uh, what was it, just a couple months ago in October on that uh, on that road trip in John Tavares' return. Uh, he scored a goal. We beat them 5-1. to one. And the Calgary Flames uh, will look to make uh, the season sweep here. So uh, let's just start things off here in December. Uh, we're coming off that 3-2 win, as mentioned, against the uh, Edmonton Oilers. Uh, let's see if we can continue the wins here and get more of a consistent month of December. So first period, uh, Calgary Flames do get on the board. Uh, there's Tavares again. He's now 2-2 for two against his former team. And uh, in his meetings against his former team, uh, this is the only two times he'll see his former team this season, of course, unless they get to the finals. Uh, Gaudreau also getting on the board, Anthony Bavillier, and now uh, Joe Thornton, who uh, they replaced John Tavares with, uh, went to Long Island. Uh, he gets on the board there, so come on, Calgary, strong third period, uh, and we get it. Uh, they do get one, but for Steve Tavares and Jankowski get on the board, so a two-goal night for John Tavares against his former team and just his second meeting against his former team, so that's what you like to see, uh, of course. Uh, Bennett Gaudreau also having two-point nights, as well as Dougie Hamilton and the aforementioned John Tavares. Uh, much better, uh, somewhat of a better night for Mike Smith. He only did face 21 shots, so our defense getting the job done. Uh, that's probably uh, uh, the fact that we got Travis Hamnick back. Uh, that is huge. Uh, 8 5 7, not the best save percentage for uh, Mike Smith. Uh, he does give up three goals on, uh, what, 21 shots or so, but uh, he's still getting the wins. Uh, he had a bit of a bit of a shaky month of November. I mean, we know how good he was in October, uh, and then uh, pretty good for the start of November, and then things just kind of fell off the map. He had a he had some really bad games there. We took him out. He came back. He bounced back. And uh, so hopefully Smith is just refining his game. John Gillies was the biggest probably disappointment of the two, uh, not being able to uh, um, find his game yet so far this season after being very consistent and very uh, reliable for us the past uh, season and into this uh, season, into preseason pre and training camp. But uh, as far as the season went, uh, uh, 
Gillies wasn't, uh, uh, the regular season, I should say, Gillies hasn't performed uh, to expectation. So uh, we've got the LA Kings now. This is a divisional game. We just lost to the Kings about a week ago uh, in that division homestand. And uh, now they have uh, scored the first goal. So after 20 minutes of play, uh, we do tie it up with uh, Christopher Stig. Stig has been good lately. He's been uh, potting some goals, so this is good to see. Uh, so we need this divisional game is what I'm saying. Uh, the LA is down there in the standings, but it would be nice to, uh, of course, get the uh, divisional win here. Uh, obviously, we need the two points, but we want to refrain from letting uh, our divisional opponents uh, get any points. So second period, Calgary Flames don't get anything. We're deadlocked at one. Third period, come on, Calgary, uh, nothing. We are going to overtime against the uh, Los Angeles Kings. So give me a minute. It was a bomb from Drew Dowdy, not even like maybe 20 seconds into overtime. Uh, we do uh, fall down to two and three when it comes to uh, games beyond 60 minutes uh, of regulations. So, uh, Gus Nyquist, one of the newest members of the LA Kings, dropping it back to Dowdy. Uh, he was left alone, obviously, in the slot. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, obviously not, uh, not what we want to see. We did uh, fire 42 shots on net, uh, but uh, we were unable to get the uh, two points. We give LA the two points. We only get one point. Uh, very, very disappointing because you don't want to give divisional teams uh, any lit, any room to, to go. Uh, like I said, LA's down there in the standings, but, uh, you know, if they can start getting, get rolling, um, obviously, uh, they they won't be far from, from catching us. So 926 for Mike Smith. Um, divisional game, we had to have this one. That, that will sting for a bit, but we got to move on. Uh, the inconsistency continues into the month of December. So uh, that, of course, is just perfect. So um, we do get the one point. I mean, you do got to take the positives out of, uh, out of games like that. But uh, you, you just, you, we need the, the two points. And we need to, like I said, refrain from giving uh, teams like the LA Kings who are, uh, you know, wanting to get back into the playoff race. Uh, we need to refrain from giving them any points. And we gave them two. So a divisional opponent, uh, you're not going to like that one at all. Uh, we have about three ga three days off here, excuse me, and now we uh, face the uh, Buffalo Sabres. So, uh, a bit of a lighter schedule in uh, the month of December uh, compared to November, um, but uh, we will continue for here. So, there we are with 40 points uh, with that one point. Uh, Vegas is uh, still six back from us. Uh, there is San Jose as well, Vancouver. Uh, there is LA all the way down there at 25 points, so they are quite far back. But again, we're so early into the season that uh, things could change. You never know. LA could get on a hot streak and, and they could plummet up the standings and, and be very close to catching us. So uh, you don't want to give any teams, uh, especially in your division, uh, points at all. Um, but unfortunately, that's what we did. We did get the one point, though. So let's take the positives out of that. So uh, Versteeg has been performing well. So uh, we did only score one goal in that last game. So let's try bringing him back up to that third line where he started off the season. Uh, Bennett's been really solid this season. Jankowski and Versteeg really needing them to find their game there on the third line. Uh, we'll keep uh, uh, Derek Roy in, Dimitri Yaskins. Uh, let's try bringing back in Kurt, or, uh, uh, Michael Furland. So uh, we'll take out Curtis Lazar. And we'll try bringing in Furlan. We took Furlan out uh, in in the last episode. He was a minus six and only had one point on the season uh, through the majority of the season. So we'll try him there on the right wing, uh, see if he can get find his game again there on the fourth line there. Um, and uh, obviously we'll see if Smith, he had a pretty good game there against LA despite the uh, OT loss there. So uh, Hamnick's been a welcome addition since coming back. Uh, that's good to see. Uh, so let's uh, welcome the, uh, or we are visiting, excuse me, the uh, 10, 13, and 2 uh, Buffalo Sabres. So another mini road trip coming up here that just does not make sense. Uh, but again, this is just a video game, so the schedule is it's going to be messed up. So if this is real life, that schedule would just be fucked. Okay, so uh, here we go. First period against the Sabres. We do get on the board. Finally, our captain. I don't know if that might be Jordano's first of the season. Uh, so that is huge. Uh, Jordano really has not... Uh, not had a good season. He is on the decline. We realized that last season and going into this season. Uh, so that's uh, a big topic of conversation. So hang on, let's just get the third period out of the way. Uh, and it's tied. Uh, so uh, former Buffalo Sabre Derek Roy scores, but Jack Eichel and Kyle Oposo uh, find the back of the net. So we are going back to overtime for the second time in uh, what in the last uh, two games. Uh, so give me a second here. Let's see if we can go back to 500 when it comes to OT. And we do, we're back to 500 when it comes to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, games that go above, uh, up beyond 60. Oh, just took a drink of water there and almost choked. It's alright though, I'm okay. Uh, so yes, uh, we are back to, uh, 4 and 4, uh, as our, uh, 
overtime record. We have yet to find the shootout this season. I don't play the shootout, of course. I just sim the shootout, but uh, we have yet to find uh, the shootout. So that's okay. I'm not a fan of the shootout anyway. Uh, so I just like the overtime games. Uh, but we're back to 500 when it comes to overtimes. Four and four, we have gone to eight uh, games that have gone to overtime, and we are now four and four. So obviously you want a better overtime record, especially the Calgary Flames. They're supposed to have a really good uh, three on three team. Uh, this season, we're only 500 when it comes to that. So uh, that's big. Uh, Johnny Gaudreau does get the winner there. Uh, Brody Hamnick not having the best night. Uh, that is okay. Monaghan with a two-point game. Uh, we pick up the two points, uh, give a point to an Eastern Division uh, rival, so it doesn't matter. 926 there, as you saw from Mike Smith, so another uh, good night there for uh, Smitty. But, um, yeah, so it doesn't matter if we give that uh, point to the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, we picked up the two there. It's just when you play it like a team like uh, LA, who's in your division, you don't want to be giving any points to them, and uh, you want to be getting the two points. So, um, We'll take it. We'll take the 3-2 win. Uh, we start off that mini uh, uh, three... Is it a three-game road trip? Not too, too sure. Uh, but uh, we will start it off in good fashion anyway. Uh, we were in Los Angeles there, so I'm not sure if you count that as a road trip. We probably came home in this three-day break and then went to Buffalo. We got New Jersey, Colorado, so again, really weird, uh, but uh, is what it is. So uh, we start off that mini three-game road trip, if you want to call it that, with a overtime win. So now the 17-8-4 and four New Jersey Devils, uh, they're having a fantastic season there. Uh, in New Jersey as well, so let's uh, let's get this one underway. Battle of two of a uh, two really good teams. Uh, they must be atop their division. Uh, so let's uh, let's get this one underway. Uh, Devils and Flames first period. Uh, Hall gets on the board. The Calgary native. Uh, so does Johnny Gaudreau. Uh, his second goal in as many. A uh, second period. Calgary Flames. Uh, Blake Como, the former Flame, getting on the board. Uh, so that's not good. We gotta have a pushback third period here. We need the consistency. Come on, we need the consistency, and we do get it to overtime on John Tavares. So uh, we're going back to extra time, and we have a chance to uh, uh, to get uh, over 500 uh, this time in extra time. So once again, for the I believe the third straight game, we are going to extra time. So give me a second. All right, so this one went the distance. This was quite the overtime. Uh, Keith Kincaid was excellent. We had so many, so many glorious chances. James and Neil fanned on an open net on a beautiful uh, two and two on one give and go with Sean Monahan. Uh, earlier in the overtime, uh, but the uh, uh, New Jersey Devils do find the back of the net uh, first. Uh, Damian Severson and in the final minute, I believe, of overtime too. So uh, disappointing. Um, this was our third straight uh, overtime. They were on a four-game winning streak. They are now on a five-game winning streak. The Devils are. Uh, they're pretty hot in New Jersey. A big win for them. Uh, but we uh, we do get a point, as mentioned. But would have liked the two. Mike Smith played well. Nine one nine, facing thirty-seven shots. Uh, but uh, um, as mentioned, they do get the uh, win. So very crazy overtime. We had lots of quality chances. Uh, just couldn't find the back of that. So we are now what? Uh, are we uh, four and five when it comes to extra time? Yes, we are four and five uh, when it comes to extra time. So we are on the wrong side of uh, the 500 mark. Uh, when it comes to overtime, but look at that, three straight overtime games here, uh, two of them losses uh, there, and then the one win, so we do pick up uh, four points on, out of a possible six on that road trip, uh, if you want to call it, or I guess the road trip's not over, but out of these uh, three overtime games, we pick up four out of a possible six, we have a chance to uh, pick up two more points here to end up the road trip in, in Colorado, so uh, we definitely obviously are going to want to do that, we're back against a Western Conference opponent, so we're going to want definitely want the two points uh, in this one, uh, but uh, four out of six, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, you definitely want to get the six out of six, but four out of six is still not that bad. So let's see if we can finish it off, though, uh, on a good note before we get the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Uh, and then we're on a pretty good homestand there. You can see Toronto, Washington, Montreal, Carolina, Dallas, uh, and Boston. And then we're also in Dallas in the middle of that as well near the end. But uh, pretty big homestand coming up. So let's see if we can finish off, though, on the road on a good note. I'm uh, going to keep the exact same lineup back-to-back -back nights. Mike Smith's playing well, so let's just keep him in net. Uh, let's see if we can get this going here against the Colorado Avalanche. They're about 500, so we've got to beat these type of teams. So first period, Calgary Flames. We don't get anything. Second period, Calgary Flames. Uh, they get on the board. Matt Nieto, the former Shark. Come on, Calgary. This is a statement third period. We need a W here. Come on, Calgary. Yes! Three huge goals. Uh, so Froelich and then uh, Roy, and then Froelich hits the empty netter with 46 seconds left. 
uh, I'm guessing, and the Calgary Flames prevailed to three unanswered goals uh, in the uh, uh, third period there. So this is a character win. Uh, coming back there, uh, down one nothing after 40 minutes to pot three goals there uh, in the third period. Uh, that is a huge character character win for the Calgary Flames. Michael Frolik, the only multi-point uh, night there, but another good night for uh, Mike Smith quietly having a bounce back uh, bounce back from that month of November. So uh, good to pick up there, uh, the, the two points there against Colorado. Uh, we pick up, what, six of a possible eight points uh, on that uh, four-game road trip. So again, not bad. You want the eight out of eight, but uh, we'll take the six out of eight for sure. Uh, that's not too, too bad of a road trip indeed. So uh, we are now in the OHL when it comes to scouting. Uh, we're doing the forwards, defensemen, forwards, defensemen, forwards, defensemen across the entire CHL. And then we'll probably move to the States or Russia or something. So a Toronto Maple Leafs, 27-3, and defending Stanley Cup champions. Yes, that's right. Austin Matthews and the Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup in 2018. Uh, they won the President's Trophy in 2018. They had a fantastic season last year. And it looks like they have carried it over uh, this year to uh, the... Uh, 2018-19 season 27 and 3 what a record they are uh, uh should be up with us near the top so we have 45 points let's just go see where they are uh, they have 43 so we're two points better than them they lead their division uh, do they lead the east they lead the eastern division of course or the eastern conference i should say uh, they lead the Atlantic Division, which is their division, uh, with 43 points. Uh, we still lead the NHL with 45, but they're only two points behind us. So this is a battle of the two top teams in the NHL, the Calgary Flames and the Toronto Maple Leafs, a possible uh, preview of a Stanley Cup final, dare I say, coming up. Uh, I don't know if it would be this season. A very good possibility it could be, uh, but I could see these two teams definitely meeting in the Stanley Cup finals, both uh, in this game and real life uh, uh, come uh, the future because uh, these are two young up-and-coming good teams of course uh, we added John Tavares to put us over the top this season uh, and he has 37 points there in 33 games so uh, we're coming off that 3-1 uh, win huge come from behind win so let's just keep the exact same lineup keep Smitty and net let's see if we can get a win against the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs so battle the two top teams this is like if you want to call it a measuring stick game uh, both teams are going to be uh, seeing if they can be the top team. So uh, two points tonight. The Toronto Maple Leafs will tie us for top spot in the NHL. Two points for us. Uh, we'll pull ahead of them by uh, four points, providing we don't give them a point. So let's see how we do here against the Toronto Maple Leafs. First period, Calgary Flames, Toronto Maple Leafs. There's Austin Matthews. There's Matthew Kachuk. A couple uh, friends from uh, their uh, junior days with the United States uh, Development Program. Uh, both American natives, of course, Austin Matthews and Matthew Kachuk finding the back of the net. Uh, that is good to see out of Kachuk for us. Uh, okay, second period here, back-to-back uh, -back goals. Again, there's Austin Matthews again. This time for us, it's Chris Rustig responding. He's really uh, really done well there in that depth row uh, ever since we took him out the uh, the, top, uh, the third line and brought him back. So 2-2, two -two. here we are. I I'm just guessing this game's going to go over overtime, but let's see what the third period has in store. And it's just the Toronto Maple Leafs, so I shouldn't have said that. Uh, Austin Matthews completes the hat trick. Uh, we don't get the tying goal. Uh, they beat us 3-2 in regulation. I just thought the way the game was going, we were going to see overtime between the two top teams in the NHL. Uh, not the case there. So uh, Disappointing, of course. I mean, this was probably a fun game to watch and to be a part of, uh, being the top two teams. But at the end of the day, we did not pick up a point at all. Uh, we are uh, dropping uh, some big games here, uh, and we're still very inconsistent. Uh, and that's probably the biggest thing to take out of all this. Mike Smith, again, above 900 uh, there in the save percentage. Does allow uh, 30 goals on 33 shots. Uh, but uh, we, we need to find more out of... Uh consistently out of our offense uh, in these type of games. So 3-2, I mean, it, 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 Toronto's a good team. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, we should have beat Toronto hands down. What I'm saying is we need a little bit more consistency, that overtime loss to the Devils. And let's just take a look at December here as an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, we've only played, what, a one, two, three, four, five, six games in December. And we are win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. So you can see what I'm talking about. We are, what, uh, Three, three, two, and one. Uh, in because that's an overtime loss there. Uh, two. Oh, I guess we are three, one, and two. Three, one, and two. Excuse me. I just had to add that up quickly in my head. Uh, so three, one, and two. Uh, but basically, if you look at it, that's three wins, three losses, and it's alternating from win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. So I just I don't understand. We're halfway through the month, and we're just like this is the inconsistency we are dealing with. And it, it's like, 
it just doesn't make sense. That's just way too inconsistent. We can't be going win loss, win loss, win loss the rest of the season. Uh, you know, we'll fall from where we are and possibly out of a playoff spot. So a really good month of October is keeping us held at uh, tops in the NHL, tied now with the Toronto Maple Leafs after that loss. But uh, that that was our, our month of October. Our month of November and first half of December are just not they're just not consistent enough. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, we could be falling here pretty soon. So we've got to find a way to get, uh, we have to find a way, excuse me, to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, we're welcoming the uh, 29 and 3 Washington Capitals. They got 43 points, as you can see down there in the Metro to Poli Metropolitan Division standings. They lead their division. Uh, they're just two points back of us who are 29 and 5 with 45 points. So another big. Uh, big game here against two of the top teams in the NHL. So uh, we're going to make a quick uh, line change here. I mean, we're going up against, you know, Toronto and Washington, two of the top teams in the NHL. We're one of the top teams. We want to be winning these games with the top teams in the NHL. Uh, so uh, Jankowski for Stieg's been playing good. Bennett, uh, Jankowski has really struggled. Uh, Bennett has been really consistent all season. For Stieg's picked it up as a late, but Jankowski has struggled. I just don't want to take him off that third line spot. I uh, want he is our uh, third best center behind Monaghan and Tavares anyway. But uh, I just don't want, I want him to continue to grow. A uh, top six uh, medium potential, 24 years of age. I really thought he could jump to the 80s uh, this season. I thought he was going to begin the season as, in the 80s, uh, but hasn't. Uh, so I just want him to continue to grow. So we need to continue to grow him down there. Uh, we can just continue to play with our lines down here. Uh, we'll try Yaskins out. We'll try Lazar back in. Uh, just got to try continuing to play with our lines down here, see if we can uh, find something here. Uh, so we'll continue with Moral Anderson uh, and... Uh, and uh, Mike Smith. So I did not look at our power play. Um, you know, being halfway through December, I wonder if that's something we should do. So uh, let's do that actually right now. Um, I just want to look at where we are in terms of our power play. Uh, and we will go by the entire NHL. Um, so you can see there we're now second, obviously, because we played more games than Toronto. They have three games in hand on us. Uh, so that's insane. Um, but anyways, I want to look at our power play. Uh, we'll look at all the rest of the stats probably after this video, or if not to start the next episode. Uh, but I want to look at where we sit in the power plays. 20.9, that's uh, near the top of the NHL, but you can see uh, not number one. Uh, oh, no, we are 25%. I was looking at Toronto's. Uh, so we are 25%. Uh, so we are number one in the NHL when it comes to our power play. So 21 goals on 84 tries. Uh, so that's not bad. Number one in the NHL, tw anything that's usually above 20 and especially anything that's 25 or above is extremely good. Anything that's above 20 uh, is pretty good, though. Uh, so we won't tweak our power play. I just didn't. I, I haven't been keeping track, of course, of the power play. So I just don't know if it was uh, struggling at all. Uh, but uh, does not seem to be the case. So we'll keep everything then on the PP the same. Uh, let's get the Washington Capitals, as I mentioned, another top team uh, that we want to uh, compare ourselves against uh, here in the East. Uh, we want to be competing with these top teams. So first period, Calgary Flames. We get two on the board. Uh, James Neal, Sam Bennett. I like to see that. Second period, come on, Calgary. That's huge. Third period, come on, Calgary. Uh, and they do get one by Alex Ovechkin, who has his, what, third goal against us this season. Uh, but Mark Giordano puts the empty netter away, and we take this one 3-1. So that's a huge win. 3-1, uh, to one, you got to find a way to win those games uh, against the top teams in the NHL. So we lose one to a top team in Toronto, but we win one against the top team in Washington. And we remain a top team as well. So I uh, like to see that. That's a good bounce back win. But again, here's the inconsistency. Win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Yada, yada, yada. So there's Jankowski. Uh, two assists on two of Bennett's goals. 9-7-1 for Mike Smith. Mike Smith has kind of been just like our season. He's kind of been inconsistent. Really good. You know, maybe a poor game. Really good. Maybe a poor game. Uh, he's been better. Uh, he's been more better than he has been uh, not better. He, he's, what am I trying to say here? He's been better than he has been worse. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't know how to say it. Um, but uh, uh, he's still somewhat inconsistent, but it, hopefully he can just continue to be a good goalie for us. So uh, we got the Montreal Canadiens here coming up. So we will uh, keep the same lineup that got us that uh, three to one win. Gets the Capitals, uh, Montreal Canadiens. So uh, we got them. Of course, we're on that, this homestand now. Uh, we got the Carolina Hurricanes, Dallas Stars. So 14, 18, and 1. Not the season the Habs were probably having in mind. Uh, I don't know if they're in yet uh, full rebuild. They probably still have Carey Price, Shea Weber. Uh, I don't think they're ever going to let Price go, but I don't think the Montreal Canadiens are 
just about in full rebuild. Uh, you can see they still have Brendan Gallagher there too as well. So first period, Calgary Flames, they get on the board. Matt Pacioretty, uh, who is also still there, their captain, uh, he gets the only goal in the for opening 20 minutes. We got to get a win here. Come on. I just, I hate this inconsistency. We have to get a win. Come on. Second period, Andrew Shaw, Dougie Hamilton uh, beats Carey Price, who is still in net. Excuse me. Come on, Calgary. Third period, push back. Come on. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So... This is the problem. I mean, win one, lose one. Win one. Like, it just seems like we're guaranteed to win and then lose the next one. Then win and then lose the next one. It's just... Oh, it's pissing me off. And I don't know how to fix inconsistency besides, you know, completely fucking up your roster. So, um, you know, we're still atop the NHL, so we're not going to panic just yet. But, I mean, my God, we got to find a way to fix inconsistency. That's just such a problem. So, um... Don't know what I was looking at here. Dougie Hamilton, our only goal there, 929 for Mike Smith. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just this game or what the hell is going on, but like, how do you win, lose, win? Like, have we done that this entire month? Let's see. Win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. Yep. We have, we have literally done that the entire month. Literally the entire month. And we have only got four games left. So watch us like win, lose, win, lose. I can see that happen. Like, just. Oh. I just, I don't understand how you can, like, how does that happen? That has to just be this game just fucking us up with the, the simulating. It just pisses me off. Um, you can see we've dropped down to 21, 10, and 5. So uh, we are starting to, to drop now with this inconsistency. Uh, 19, 11, and 5 are the Carolina Hurricanes. You know what? I'm not even going to switch things up. Let's just pray that we get back in the win column here against Carolina. First period against the Canes. Uh, Kachuk gets on the board. Jones, Jordan Stahl for them. Second period. Uh, we get on the board. Johnny Goodrow. Uh, third period. Come on, Calgary. Hang on. Uh, they tied up. Victor Rask. So, <laughs> guess what? We're going overtime. So, give me a minute. Four and fucking six on the season. When it comes to overtime. So, uh, now our overtime is starting to uh, be a cause of concern here as we have slipped to four and six. Of course, it's because I'm playing it, but... I mean, we, I, I could go to simulating it, but I just like to play it. But four and six, uh, that's not good. So, uh, Tivo Teravainen scores. Michael Backlund, in his return to Calgary, uh, gets the assist on the uh, game-winning goal. Uh, the Canes do beat us. We do get that point, uh, but again, I mean, again, it's an Eastern Conference opponent. But uh, again, we want two points. So I guess the only good thing about this, and it's not really a good thing, but it's the fact that we snap that win-loss, 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 uh, record by going win loss win loss win loss 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 or two losses you know what I mean so um, not really a good thing because you you'd rather go win win instead of loss loss but at least we stop that stupid inconsistent fucking win loss win loss thing it just it's driving me crazy I just I can't I, I can't deal with this but uh, we'll find a way to get around it here so a uh, few games here to finish off the month of December. Uh, just before the Christmas break, we got one more here against the Dallas Stars. Uh, you know, we're somewhat hanging in there. Uh, let's just let's just leave the lines as is, and let's just go here and see if we can pull in a win. Uh, 21, 10, and 6 uh, here. Uh, we should be able to hit the 50-point plateau before Christmas, so that's pretty good. Uh, with a win here, to actually, tonight we will. Uh, so first period against the Stars, we get on the board. John Tavares beats Bishop. Second period, we get on the board. Johnny Gaudreau beats Ben Bishop. Third period, uh, they get two. And uh, Ben and Sagan, and we are going back to overtime. So we are four and six. Give me a second. I'll try and make All it right. Fine. Jamie, Ben on the uh, power play. Four and, or five and six is what I meant to say uh, just before uh, we went there to overtime. But we are, doesn't matter. We are now four and seven uh, when it comes to extra time. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stop playing these stupid overtimes. Um, just it's, I'm not getting it done, <laughs> clearly, and I'll just leave it up to the simming. So, um, they do put 44 shots on net that we, like I said, dropped 4 and 7. Uh, so we've drastically dropped when it comes to overtime, which was supposed to be a strength for us. Uh, obviously, my uh, skills <laughs> have made it a weakness. So we'll go to, we'll go to uh, uh, simulating it uh, here in the future uh, and see if that can help us uh, improve our overtime uh, record. So, uh, Western Conference opponent. Don't want to give them two points. We picked up the points. Uh, a point, excuse me. Stop me if you've heard this before. Uh, we've seemed to have had a lot of overtime games uh, the last uh, month and a bit here. So, 
Uh, let's see if we can bounce back, though, here. Uh, finish off the month of December on a winning note. And then uh, try and find answers here in January. So uh, we do uh, drop our final game for Christmas. 21, 10, and 7 is our record. Uh, there we have 40, what, 49 points. Uh, but we have the Dallas Stars again uh, right here after Christmas on Boxing Day, actually. Uh, so forget the World Juniors. We are playing on Boxing Day. Uh, so let's see if we can respond with a W. Uh, we'll go with the same lineup. Why not? Let's just finish the month off like this. Uh, so let's sim it. See if we can uh, maybe get a W here against the Stars after they beat us so in our barn. So we're now in uh, in Texas. Let's see if we can get the W. Uh, first period, nothing. Second period, three goals. Bennett for Steve and Dougie Hamilton. Uh, and then the final period of play, uh, Bennett gets another one. So uh, we do beat the Stars 4 nothing. That's a nice bounce back game against them. But again, there's the inconsistency. Again, stop me if you've heard this before. Uh, seems to be what these last couple episodes have been about. A uh, three-point night for both Bennett and Versteeg. That third line really coming through again tonight. Uh, and then uh, Mike Smith with a shutout. 17 save uh, performance. But there's the alarming thing as John Gillies had to come in and play almost half the game uh, and, and stop the seven shots as well. So again, uh, they wouldn't have pulled Smith for having a shutout uh, that far. Uh, so again, we got to pray that it's not an injury. It most likely was an injury, but hopefully not a long-term injury. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case there. So uh, we will, uh, because Smith came out of the net, uh, half of that game, we'll keep him in for this Boston game and see if we can finish off the month with a W. So it'd be nice uh, instead of a loss where that inconsistency factor comes back in and see if we can uh, propel ourselves to another win. So first period against the Boston Bruins, DeBrusque and Jankowski. Uh, second period, uh, Brad Marchant. Come on, Calgary, please. Uh, no, it's going to be Tory Krug with the update. So. Drops it three to one. Uh, I don't know. I just, I really don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I'm, we're not going to hit the panic button. Um, but like this inconsistency is is going to have to be like we're going to have to find an answer for it. It's it's a problem. November and December, absolute fucking just. I don't even know what to say. Just absolute joke like i the inconsistency is just an absolute joke like i thought with that october that we had fixed things from the season before uh but clearly not it's just it's an absolute joke we go one win then we go a loss and we go a win then we go like it's it it's too inconsistent and i don't know if it's just this fucking stupid game doing that but i mean it's just it's it's stupid like i I don't know what else to say. We're like 51, we're still atop the uh, the NHL. Uh, we're all tied with the Canes, uh, one back of the Leafs for number one in the NHL. Uh, we're still atop our division. Um, I like to see that, but I mean, it's just this inconsistency has just been a problem. I mean, 22, 11, and seven, uh, we could be a lot better than that if it wasn't for this inconsistency. Um, like I, I don't know. I I am I don't know. So uh, I think we'll begin episode. Um, what is it, 17, with uh, a look at uh, the points, uh, how our players are doing. Obviously, John Tavares is leading us in points. He's almost a point a game, a one back, 39 points in 40 games. Uh, we'll take a look at the rest of our players, uh, and we'll start off the month of January and the year of 2019. Uh, you can only pray that 2019 is going to be a much more consistent uh, year than 2018 was, because 2018 was just a fucking disgrace in, uh, when it came to a consistency when you look back at last season and the playoffs and uh this season here so uh the start of this season i should say minus the month of october like one fucking month of the entire year where we were consistent every other fucking month we just we just fucked up with what it came to consistent i like i don't know is, is it just this fucking game that makes you win a game lose a game when you simulate like it i don't know i don't know if that's happened in other franchise modes with other people but it's just, it it pisses me off because it's you know, it's not realistic if, if that's what the game is fucking doing. Like, it's, you know, I'm simming, and we win a game, you know, and it's, it's a good game. Like, it's like a 4 nothing game, but then we just drop the next game. Like, it just it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't matter the, the other team, what their record is. It just it doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if we can find the answer for an episode 17, I believe it is, when we uh, start the month of uh, January and start the year 2019. Uh, good thing is, is again, taking away the positives, we're still atop our division, still atop the NHL, in a very good spot. Uh, we were uh, pegged to be uh, a Stanley Cup favorite this season. So far, we're living up to that. And so far, uh, despite the inconsistency, we are still living up to that somewhat. So uh, hopefully we can have a good uh, second half of the season, get ourselves into the playoffs and make a deep run. And hopefully, uh, you know, obviously want to win the Stanley Cup. But with this inconsistency, uh, 
I'd be uh, I'd be definitely concerned about that. But uh, we got uh, we got trade uh, trade deadline coming up pretty soon here as well. Uh, you know, maybe we want to look at our depth. Maybe we want to look at our. Uh, our backup position, because uh, John Gilly is not getting the job done, but we, we, we'll, we'll see what happens there in uh, in episode 17 and in the next couple of episodes here. So, uh, Franchise Mode 2017-18 Calgary Flames, uh, we'll see you in the next episode.